Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and thank you so much for tuning in for today's technique video where I'll be showing how to uh, use colored pencils on craft cardstock. Um, so this is going to be a technique video with a lot of detail. Um, I'm going to be using the recipe for happiness stamp set by my favorite things. Um, my crafty friend Francine Wu Yume inspired me to use that because I've seen cards that she's uh, done. And what I did is I used a piece of scrap cardstock here and stamped with various inks on top of this to see how the inks would look like after a while because they seep into the cardstock and then they fade out. And I wanted to try the no line coloring technique and so I decided to use the Simon's Test Stamp Fog ink. You can see I'm inking up my image here and I'm stamping it onto the cardstock and um, it will like the the lines will fade over time so uh, it, it will become basically less intense over time. Before I get into the actual coloring I'm doing something that I've seen uh, I think it's Jane Allen uh, do a lot and she adds like bigger eyes to the images that she colors and so I just used my pencil to draw in the outline of the eyes. I will add the details later on, um, but for now I'm just adding the outline so I don't color over them. Oftentimes I forget, so this time I was quite happy that I didn't forget. I've sped up the coloring process because overall I think that took me at least an hour or so. Um, like I literally just colored to relax, like for fun. Um, I colored this card for Francine actually, so um, I really just took my time because I love her cards and her, her techniques um, and I wanted to send this card to her and so I was extra um, I was extra careful to really pay attention to the details. Now you've seen me do a lot of coloring with pencils and as I always like to say all the techniques that I am showing I have learned from the wonderful Elise from Kid and Clouder who is doing um, coloring classes, coloring online classes. Um, she has full courses that you can buy that take you really from um, how do I sharpen my pencil to how do I add depth and shadow to an image, like literally from A to Z. Um, and uh, I'm linking to her in the video description below and of course on my blog. And so everything you see me do in terms of coloring with pencils and with Copics really comes from her excellent classes. As she says, and as I say in my own videos, um, the trick is to work in layers. With colored pencils, you don't, it's not like with Copics, you don't go in at a layer and you're done. It's oftentimes not even at two layers and you're done. Um, with pencils, I usually have three to four layers, sometimes up to seven layers of colors. Um, so it's a technique that requires some patience. Um, usually you start out with the first layer and you use very, very light pr pressure. Oftentimes I try to hold my pencil at the very end um, so I don't accidentally apply too much pressure. If you do, you flatten out the paper and then um, the subsequent layers don't really have a chance to hold on to something when you try to add more layers and blend the colors. Um, that's why pencil coloring is its, it's kind of a labor of love. You really have to take your time, um, but it's also very relaxing. So you could see me here coloring in his face layer by layer, adding detail by detail. Um, and you can see that just like, for example here, like adding this tiny little bit of shadow underneath his mouth helped to um, enhance the effect like that he has like a little, you know, wobbly chin. Um, you can see here that I went in with my white pencil and just shaded in his had a bit and now I'm adding the, the shadows and I'm doing layer by layer by layer. I started out with the darkest color, blending towards the lightest colors, going over everything with the white and then I'm repeating this for as often as I think is necessary until I have the depth of color that I want. Um, since this is I think a video that is best enjoyed by simply watching, I will play some music for you until I am done with the coloring. But again, like the technique is always the same. Start out with a little bit of color, very light pr pressure, blend towards the lightest color and repeat for as often as necessary.
it and we are done with the coloring. I hope the process was inspirational for you and you learned something. Now to put the card together I'm using these dies by Tonic Studios and I'm just cutting a few panels. Um, well actually I'm cutting one panel. This is going to be a craft card but I want some contrast so I'm just using this piece of scrap paper that is a little bit bent and I can't really use it as a card base anymore uh, but I can use it as a panel. So I'm using that to um, die cut a panel and then I'm uh, cutting out my cook here from this piece of craft cardstock that I used. Um, as I said, uh, all the products that I'm using are linked in the video description below and on my blog, of course. Now I'm putting this together. This is my white panel. You can see I have this nice scalloped edge. This is what I really like about this um, die set that I get this nice scalloped edge. And I'm gluing it directly onto my craft card base. And before I adhere um, my coloration here, I'm of course, I of course, have to add the sentiment. And for once, I didn't forget. I'm using Versamark ink here, which is a sticky ink. And I just put some white embossing powder on top of it and I'm heat setting this patiently. Well, at least I'm trying to be patient. There we go. And I put some foam tape behind this craft panel and now I'm adhering it directly onto the white panel. There we go. And here you have a close up of the finished coloration and it's all mounted onto um, the card base now. As I said, I hope you learned something uh, from the from watching the process. If you want to dive in deeper into the entire topic of coloring with pencils, I can really recommend the classes by Kid and Clouder. They're linked to in the video description below and on my blog. The products I used, including these dies from Tonic Studios, are also linked on my blog. And here is the entire card to finish up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the, uh, in the comments. Please subscribe because I have a lot more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.